Hi guys, this is Lauren with I Heart Speech, and I would like to show you how to play my new game, Snowflake Flurry. So if you're playing digitally with your kids, you can open up um, this document either in Keynote or in PowerPoint, um, and I would open up to page three, and you can either pre-select the activity or the words for the activity, or you can do it with the child. A lot of times I do it with the kiddo, so they're practicing the words that they want. I'll give them, you know, nine, 10, 11 options, and then they get to pick. Um, but if you're selecting it for them, you can go ahead and just make a little text box um, that says the word that you want them to practice. So let's say we're practicing words that have the k at the beginning, then I would say can, and I would say, Cow and whoops, and I would say kite, and I would go around and I would fill in a word for each of those. Um, if my kiddo is not a reader, then you can use your shape tool to do the different pictures, and so I would do cow and I would do kite and Sometimes I don't have pictures, so we just sort of make it up. Um, but I would add the pictures so that the kiddo knows what the word is. Um, and so then you roll your dice and let's pretend we rolled a two. Then we would move our number two dot there and we would say our word. Um, they roll a three, we move our number three dot there and they say a word. They roll a three again, we say kite again and we put the dot there, we roll a one, and we always start at the tip of the snowflake and we move our way towards the middle. And so we can do it for all the different numbers, all the way in, whatever number they roll um, as they go, <clears throat> um, practicing our words or our sounds or our sentences or whatever we're working on. <clears throat> They could be sight words, they could be anything. You can work on any skill with this. And then what I would do is once you keep going, eventually you will get one number that will fill in all of the dots. And then I typically, typically wait until they get it one more time. So I had it where we have two or three lines that are filled all the way till this very last dot and then, so now we're waiting, is it gonna be one? Is it gonna be three? And then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, we keep getting a bunch of fives. And so now it's, we have one and three and five and the anticipation is building and they can't wait to see like which one is gonna be the winner. And then you roll it and it's a three, ta-da! So three is the winner, it fills in the big dot. So you can just copy and paste and make the dot the giant size and cover up the middle um, of your um, snowflake and they love it. And sometimes they'll kind of cheat and they'll be like, it was a three and you're like, okay, all right, that was a three. Um, but if that's the word they want to practice, I'm gonna tell you, I think threes and fives seem to be the numbers that we roll the most. So it'd be interesting to see what numbers you guys roll the most um, and see what color dot fills in your snowflake. Um, but then if you want to keep practicing, if they're like, well, I wanted to, lots of my kids want to fill in the entire snowflake. And so as you go, you fill in, you know, you just keep going. If you get a three again, you can make another dot and fill up these little edges. And then um, you can keep going. And then let's say you filled in all of your twos. You can either let them change the color and you could put in a new dot in that spot. Um, or you can, so now I'll have a pink dot and I like pink. Um, you can let them fill in the outside dots and it can be any colors they want. And the same thing for if it is a printed version. For the printed version, you can just do whatever color they want. And so right here I have a purple marker and a pink marker and an orange marker. So they roll the number, they get a two. I still start off with my 
Um, dot, that's the farthest away. They roll again, they get another two, I fill in another dot. Now, some of my kids are very creative and they don't wanna be stuck with, okay, all of my twos are purple. They want to mix it up. So they roll a two and they want it to be pink. Honestly, it doesn't matter. As long as they're practicing their sounds or their words or their sight words or their mouth problems, it doesn't matter what colors they do. They could be anything. You can use crayons, you can use markers. You could even get to the point where you're coloring in all of the pieces on your snowflake um, and you can just make the most beautiful snowflake ever. That is just the way the child wants it. Use crayons, markers, highlighters. My kids seem to love using highlighters these days. Like markers are good, smelling markers are awesome, but highlighters seem to be just the thing. And so feel free to make it any way you want so that, um, it's something your child is proud of. And so what I would do on this is I would just write the word. And so we're doing, let's say we're doing sight words. And so we have and, and, can, and, the. And so I would write the sight words all around um, next to the, next to the number. So that when they roll the three, you point to the sight word and they say the. Um, and it's a whole lot more fun than holding up a flashcard and saying, the so um but you can use any of the skills that you want to work on now this right here has it so that you can do 10 different skills or 10 different items um but you don't have to fill all of them in so um you could say and this could be a place where you can take data so let's say you're working on uh, your sight words. So you would write sight words and then you would have and and can and the and then you can mark how often they did them correctly or incorrectly or you can just keep it so that it's a list of the words that you are working on. So all right well I hope you guys have a great time making a beautiful snowflake.